Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about how we can implement K-means clustering in RStudio. It'll be a two-part video. In the first part, I'll be talking about the elbow method and how we can determine number of clusters in the K-means clustering. In the next part of video, I'll be countering with the implementation part. So let's get started. The very first thing, like uh, first of all, if we have a data available and we have to perform the clustering, right, to the set of points, how we can determine how many clusters we have to make, right? What's the optimal number of clusters? It all depend upon the the concept of WCSS. So what is WCSS? It is called within cluster sum of squares. We have to find the distance between centroid and every point of the cluster. Then we can do the square and then we can sum it. So uh, then only we'll be getting the WCSS. Through this WCSS, we can get the we can we can apply the elbow method to find the optimal number of clusters. So this is the mathematical formula which we are using behind the scenes, but we don't have to worry about it because it's available in the form of function in the R Studio. So it just for your knowledge, this is the like mathematical uh, notation which we are used behind the scenes. So let's suppose we have a one cluster available. In this case, C1 is a centroid. We have to find the distance between each and every point in the cluster to the C1, and then we have to do the square, and then we have need to do the summation. This is how we can find the WCSS. In the same way, for this this example, we are having two clusters available, and we have to repeat the same for the two times. You can that's why you can see there's a plus sign available, and that, that we can get the WCSS. Simple thing is like if you have a single cluster, WCSS value will be more. If we have a more than one cluster, if you keep on increasing the number of clusters, WCSS value will be keep on decreasing, right? So we have to find out that what's the optimal number of clusters we have to make. This is available with the help of elbow method so elbow method meaning is if we simply draw, uh, plot the graph between wcss and number of clusters right you will find that uh, it's it's decreasing right and we have to just if you can observe this uh, line properly it's like an elbow right and where we have uh, this dip available where, where this is sharp dip available at that point it will be called your optimal number of clusters like in this case the optimal number of clusters is three Right, you can see after three, there's a sharp decre decrease in this number, and uh, it'll be almost zero at the number of at ten. It means I've already told you that if you keep on increasing number of clusters, right, WCS value is keep keep on decreasing, right. So this is how we can find the uh, number of clusters using the elbow method. I hope it is clear. So what are the steps to uh, like uh, implement the uh, this K-means clustering in R Studio? We have a uh, five steps available. Very simple one. First, we need to import data set. Afterwards, we need to apply the elbow method to find optimal number of clusters, and then we have to apply the K-means to data set, and then we have to do the visualization. And afterwards, we need to interpret the results. So this is how we can implement the R Studio, the, this uh, K-means in R Studio, right? In next video, I'll be showing you how we can ex how ex ex exactly we can do the implementation part in the R, right? So I hope you. Must have understood the little uh, prerequisite to the like uh, implementation part. All right, so I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video.